Hey, what's up? Today we're going to create this hot chocolate. This video is part of a Christmas giveaway that I'm hosting in collaboration with XP Pen. Follow this tutorial, post it on your Instagram, and you will have a chance to win one of three drawing tablets from XP Pen. All the information you need to join is in the description down below. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's start off by creating a cup. So press Shift A, Mash, and add a circle. Tap it down to edit mode, press F to fill, E to extrude it up, and then S to scale it up, and E to extrude it up again. Press I, and we'll inset it, and then E, and we'll extrude it down again. Then we'll leave edit mode, go to our add modifiers tab, we'll add a bevel modifier, we'll change the segments to four, then we can press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier, right click and shade auto smooth. Now we'll press 1 on our numpad or the tilde key to open our view menu and then we'll go into front view and we'll press shift A, curve and we'll add a path. Press tab to go into edit mode and then we'll place it into position and then with G and selecting these words we'll create a nice curve for the handle and here you can play around a bit with the shape. If we go into our curve settings and we go to geometry you can increase the depth, so then it's a bit easier to create it there. And then we'll place that a bit like that. I actually don't think I'm going to change that much more to this. Okay, that looks great. And then we can just press Ctrl 2 and add a subdivision modifier. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, now we'll uh, create our hot chocolate. So press Shift A and then add a circle. It's G and Z, and we'll move it up. And here we can see, make sure that it covers everything here. And then press F and fill it. And then press I to inset. We'll inset it just like that. And then press Ctrl R and we'll add three loop cuts. We'll go into Edge Select by pressing 2 or the icon here. And then with Shift and Alt, we can select these loops. And we'll press G and Z and we'll move them up. There, and then press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. And then right click, shade auto smooth. And then we go into face select, and then we'll inset the middle face. And then with Ctrl R, we can just add some extra loop cut cuts wherever we want. Make it look a tiny bit more smooth. And then we'll press G and Z, and I'm gonna move it down a tiny bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, we'll add some marshmallows. Um, so Shift A, Mash, Add a cube. Tap to go into edit mode. Scale it down. Press R, Control R to add a loop cut, and then S, scale it down, and then leave edit mode. Press Control 3 to add a subdivision modifier. Right click, shade out of smooth, and that's a very simple marshmallow. We'll move it into our hot chocolate, and then with R twice we can rotate it, and then G and Shift set we can kind of place it. And then we'll place one there. And if you press Shift Set, it will only move on your X and Y axis. Just like that. And then there, and then maybe we can move down a bit. We can change the position of this later. We'll first add our candy cane so we can kind of see how our composition will look. For our candy cane, we'll press Shift A, Mesh, and we'll add a circle. Then we'll move it to the side a tiny bit. And then if you press 7 on your numpad or tilde key to open your view menu again, and we'll go into top view. Press tab to go into edit mode and we'll press one or the icon here to go into vert select and we'll delete the bottom half. So press X and V and then we'll select these and then we'll press E and Y to extrude. And then with just the left one, we'll press G and Y and we'll move it down a bit more. And then with Ctrl R, we can add some more loop cuts just like that. Okay, now if we leave edit mode and we go to object, convert, We'll convert it to a curve. And then in our curve settings, we can go to geometry and we can increase the depth. There, we're gonna make it a nice chunky one. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, if we right click it, we can convert it back to a mesh. And then go into edit mode. We'll go into edge select by pressing two or the icon. And then with shift and alt, we select these two outside loops. And then press G and Y. And then we'll move them out a tiny bit. And then F. To fill and then with control B we can add a bevel and then with the scroll we can increase the bevel and then 
Yeah, we can make the ends nice and rounder. There we go. And then press Ctrl 2 to subdivide. Right click, shade auto smooth. And then we'll go back into edit mode. Press A to select all. Then go to edge and unsubdivide. And then in the left part menu here, iterations to one. There we go. Okay, then we'll go back into front view, press RX90 to rotate it. As you can see, it's way too big, so we'll scale it down a tiny bit. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll place it right there. And then if we press period key and we'll change our pivot point to 3D cursor, we can kind of rotate it and put it in a nice position. There. I think that looks pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna make my Make it a tiny bit smaller, it's maybe a tiny bit too big. There we go, that looks better. And then make our marshmallows a tiny bit bigger, but first, period key, change it to medium point. There, and then that one as well. And then we can kind of just move these around a bit. There, yeah, I think that looks great. Okay, then we'll add our background. So we'll press Shift A, add a plane in edit mode. Scale that all the way up. Make sure you're in edge, select, and then select the back edge. E and Z, extrude it up. Select this edge again, press Ctrl B. And then we'll add a nice bevel, and then leave that mode. Right click, shade auto smooth. I'm going to front view, and then here we'll start adding our camera. We can select our camera, press G and Y, and maybe move it back. We'll start with five meters, and then view our camera. Okay, so that needs to go even further back. Let's move it back another five to start with. And then G and Z, and we'll move it up. Maybe move it up four meters. And then press R and X, and then we can aim it at our cup. And then we'll go into our output settings. We'll change the resolution to 1920 by 1920. And then we'll select our, our cup. And then we can rotate it a tiny bit and then we can play around with this positioning as well so it looks perfect okay now i want to move my camera a tiny bit closer so i'll press g set twice and i want to be a tiny bit more up so i'm going to move it up about a meter press r and x aim it down a tiny bit there and i think that is perfect and then i'm going to move it a tiny bit to the left there yeah that looks great Okay, then we'll uh, start and add our lighting. So if we press Z and we go into a rendered view, and then press Shift A, light, add an area light, press G and Z, and we'll move that up. And then press period point, pivot point to 3D cursor, and then press RX 40 minus, and then we'll increase our power to maybe 150 to start off with. I think that looks pretty good. I'll move it up a tiny bit. Then press Shift D, R set 120, and then Shift R to duplicate. There we go. Then we have three lights. I'm gonna make this one a tiny bit weaker, maybe like 80. And then I'm gonna add a nice light to our background as well. So if we add another light, move it up. Period key to change our pivot point to medium point. And then R, X, aim it a bit at our background, and G and Y. And then we'll change our power to like 200 on that for now. And we can see how that looks in our camera view. Move it down a bit. And here we can just play around a bit until we get like the result we like. Maybe change the power a tiny bit. And then we're gonna move it down back. There, I think that looks pretty good. There, move our background a tiny bit closer. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe, just maybe, maybe I make this 200. Make it a tiny bit stronger. Okay, then we'll start adding some colors. So we'll select our background. And then we'll add in our material tab a new material. And we'll call that a background. And we'll change our mix color to E7BC94. Then our cup is going to be a nice purple color. So we'll call that let's call it cup. And then our base color is going to be C29AE7. 
And then here I also want to decrease the roughness to about 0.3. And then now if we select our handle and shift click the cup, press Ctrl L and M, we can link our material. Okay, then for the chocolate, we'll select the chocolate, call it chocolate. We'll change our base color to be 76412B. And then I'm gonna make this a roughness of 0.2. Okay, and then our marshmallows, I'm just gonna add an empty material because well they're white so that's easy now for our candy cane um, we'll start off with adding the white color so that's gonna just be a new material we'll call it white we'll leave the color as is but we'll change our roughness to zero or now zero seems a bit too much doesn't it maybe 0.2 yeah that's much better okay so now we'll add the red to it so if we select our candy cane go into edit mode Select face select and then with holding shift and alt you can select every other loop like that and then we'll add new material spot and the new material call it red and then our base color is going to be E745 E74 G5 and then click assign and then our Roughness goes to point two as well. There we go. And now I'm gonna increase our lighting strength a tiny bit. Maybe make that 250. Make this one 150. And I think the backlight could also be a tiny bit stronger. 250. Maybe start with that. And then we'll add our world color. So if we go to our world tab, go to color, and we'll make that 98616B, just like that. And then I'm gonna go and increase the backlight a bit. And here we can kind of play around with the strengths for our lighting and see what looks nice. And I think this looks absolutely great. So then we'll go here, change our render engine to cycles device to GPU compute and we can change our viewport samples to maybe 128 our render samples to 512 and then just go down go to color management and we'll change our look to be medium high contrast there we go thanks for joining me if you have any questions or requests drop them in the comment section below i'd love to see your results so be sure to tag me on instagram if you enjoyed this tutorial feel free to like and subscribe see you soon